Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday, September the 29th. Um, and we're continuing our discussion of Ecclesiastes chapter 3. This is probably the most well-known part of Ecclesiastes, thanks to um, the beautiful poetry, uh, the Pete Seeger song, and the cover of that song by the Birds? The Birds or the Turtles, I'm not sure, one of those animal bands. And this reminds us that God has set up our, our world in ways where everything can happen to us and everything has uh, a time and a place. This is, but this is not some sort of fatalistic type. Um, poem. It's more just a, a reminder that these things are going to happen. Um, we will mourn and we will dance. We will build and we will take down. We will make life and we will take life. These are just the, this is just the way our world is. And Again, though, not in, not in some fatalistic way that uh, we will just go, go through this, but in a way that we are not to be surprised or taken aback when these things happen. Um, that there is a time for these things, and we in our lives will go through them. And so this... Um, this reminds us, uh, linking back to the first poem in Ecclesiastes, that all of this busyness that we see, we should not take as the thing. We shouldn't take our reason for being as going through these spectrums as though we could check off, ah, I, have, I have been happy, I have been sad, I have mourned, I have danced. No, instead, it is a way of showing us that these things in and of themselves are not the be-all and end-all of our lives. And we shouldn't uh, try to avoid them or things like that. But instead, it is a reminder to us that these things, as we go through them, um, they are part of what makes our lives. And so we shouldn't be immediately thinking of getting to the next part. Uh, and covering it up. We see when we try to live in those glory times we have that we can become unrealistic or when we stay stuck in a troubling time that we can ex continue to re-experience that trauma over and over again. Instead, what Kahaleth is telling us is to accept these moments as that, as moments because a time for something else will come soon. And so, uh, as we go through our day, let us reflect on the moment that we are in now and ask God for the strength to get through it so that we may continue to move through our lives not trapped in one space, but instead actively working with God and getting to the next. Let us go to God in prayer. Glorious God, help us to not stay stuck in one time of life, but instead to move with you. May we see that you have given us this time now and not and, and that you do not want us to stay in the moment that just happened, but instead to keep moving forward in each moment with you. Pray all this in the name of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Amen. Shalom.